Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. This tutorial, I'm going to show you the Creative Cloud 2014 and Libraries feature, and in particular the Copy and Move feature that's been added. So, in the past, if you've just got an image, and you can select multiple images on, in this library. And if you can't see the library, it's Window and Libraries. And what you'd have to do is just drag that out to the document and then just drag it back to a new library. Obviously, you can do that, but it's it's slow. Now, there's actually a feature you can actually select multiple ones. I'm just going to select one, so I don't want to select multiple ones. I'm just going to right click and there's a copy to, and I'm just going to select test one. So, what it does, it just copy it so it stays there, remains that's what copy. And I'm just going to go now to test one, just take a few seconds for it to pop up in the menu. And what it does, it puts test one at the top. So if I would actually selected one of the other ones, it would have actually just put that to the top. And there you have it, you've just got it copied over. Of course, you could just now copy it to another, you could have it all the way through. So it's a much quicker way of just moving things around. So I'm just going to go back to Christmas Angels. Just take a few seconds again, just to bring up all the various options. And there's actually a move command, which what that does is like a delete and but obviously just copy it over so you can actually copy it over and then delete it from here and then move it back. But that does it all in one command, so just doesn't do it over here. Sadly, it's not available in that menu, but it's just here. So move to. So when you do that, move to test one, you'll notice it's just deleted and then just going to go to test one and then you'll see the actual items there. Now sometimes it takes a bit of time to appear, but there it is. It's just been moved over, deleted from the other one. There is also another new feature in the thing, which is a very useful tool. Uh, if you're obviously within the group of people that are using the Creative Cloud, you can actually collaborate. And what it means is that your libraries and things can be moved to a collaborator. So, sounds a horrible word, doesn't it? But anyway, collaborate. I'm not going to do it because uh, like I say I haven't got it. But what it does, it comes up with an email thing, so you could actually request, obviously, uh, and or you can send a custom message as well and send an invite, and then that's it. It's all set up, and then other people can see and access various things. I can't show that in this video. Obviously, other people probably will be creating videos showing all those sort of features. Hope you found this of interest.